Hi, I'm Dr. Andy Thompson, and I'm a rheumatologist. Today, I'm going to talk about cortisone injections for the treatment of rheumatic diseases. You can visit our website, www.rheuminfo.com, and print off one of our steroid injection pictal pamphlets to follow along with this video. Now, it's important to understand that cortisone is a natural steroid hormone produced by your adrenal glands. Cortisone can help to relieve the pain and swelling from arthritis, and we can inject cortisone directly into a joint or around a tendon to relieve the pain and swelling from arthritis. Most people find the injections take about 24 to 48 hours to work. If local freezing is given with the injection, you might feel better a little bit quicker. Now the length of improvement varies, and it's difficult to predict how long it might work for you. Some patients can feel better for months, while others find only a few days of relief. Now if the first injection works well, then you may benefit from another. As a general rule, the number of injections is limited to three or four for a single joint per year. Now there are three things you need to do after a joint injection. First, if the injected area becomes very painful, red, or swollen, call your doctor immediately. If your doctor is not available, seek medical attention right away. One of the very rare risks of a cortisone injection is infection. Second, if possible, it's best to rest the joint for 24 hours after the injection. This might make the injection work better and last longer. And finally, cortisone can make it slightly harder for you to fight infections. Call your doctor if you have a fever or think you have an infection. A cortisone injection can rarely cause injury to a joint or a tendon. Your doctor will discuss this risk. Now after an injection, some patients can feel flushed. This usually isn't serious, but let your doctor know if this happens. A cortisone injection can sometimes cause a rise in blood sugars in patients who have diabetes. So if you have diabetes, make sure to test your blood sugars for a few days after the injection. A cortisone injection can rarely cause an area of the skin to lose pigment or turn white. Now this is more common in darker skinned people. Cortisone can also cause loss of the fat layer just below the skin, causing the skin to turn a purple color. A cortisone injection can sometimes make you feel full of energy. This can make it difficult to sleep. After a cortisone injection, you should call your doctor if you feel unwell or if you're concerned about any side effects. Now for cortisone injections, there are a few specific reasons to call your doctor. If you develop severe pain in the area which was injected, if you have a fever or think you have an infection, if you notice skin changes or loss of pigment. I hope you found this video to be useful. For more information, please refer to our website at www.roominfo.com.